Tamux, or Terminal Multiplexer, is a very useful Linux command line utility that helps us manage multiple windows and panes simultaneously, enabling us to work more efficiently, especially in ethical hacking and penetration testing. In this video, I am going to show you how you can make your Tmux look beautiful using Dracula themes along with some prompt customization. If you are unfamiliar with Dracula themes, it is an online resource that provides themes for almost every popular application, whether it's Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. Some popular examples include ZSTH, Notepad++, Sublime Text Editor, and Visual Studio Code. All right, let's install it in our Tmux and check out its capabilities. To install this, open up your web browser and search for TPM Tmuxer. After the search is complete, you will see a GitHub repository as the first result. Click to open it. I'll also provide the link to this GitHub repo in the description. Once you're on the GitHub page for TPM, Scroll down a bit to see the installation instructions for TPM on Linux. Our first step is to clone this repo into our home directory using git. Let's copy the first command. Now, open your Linux terminal. I'm currently using Kali Linux, but you can install this on any Linux distribution. After opening your terminal, paste the command and press enter. This command will clone the TPM repo directly into your home directory. Once the cloning is complete, we need to create a tmux configuration file. To do this, type the following command in your home directory. This command will create a new .tmux.conf file and open it in your text editor. Next, go back to the GitHub page and copy the required text, then paste it into the file. After pasting, press Ctrl plus X to save the file and exit. If you already have tmux installed on your Linux machine, you can simply run it by typing tmux in your terminal. If not, you can install it using apt by typing sudo apt install tmux. After the installation, just type tmux. Inside tmux, press Ctrl plus B, followed by Shift plus I. This will start the installation of TPM. Once the installation process is complete, you can exit by pressing the Escape button on your keyboard now that we have installed TPM on our Linux machine, it's time to install Dracula Themes. Open your browser once again and go to the Dracula Themes website using the link provided in the description, or you can simply search for it. Once you're on the Dracula Themes website, search for Tmux. On the Tmux page, you'll find the installation method. Scroll down a bit and you'll see the text Install using TPM. Right below it, you'll see a line of code copy it and head back to your terminal. Open your tmux configuration file again and paste the copied line, but remember not to place it at the very bottom of the file. Paste it just before the last line. After pasting, press Ctrl plus X again to save and exit. Now in the final step, type the following command in your tmux session and voila. You'll see that the Dracula theme has been installed. The process may be a bit complex, but the results are fantastic. Now that we've successfully installed the theme, let's do some basic customization with our Dracula themes. After that, we'll customize our terminal prompt. Go back to the Dracula themes website and scroll down. You'll see a lot of Dracula theme configurations. You can try them out one by one. For example, let me copy the first one from here. After copying, open the tmux configuration file again and paste it right before the last line, then save and exit. After that, type the following command in your tmux session, and you will see that the custom configurations have been applied. You can explore other configurations on your own. Now let's move on to customizing our terminal prompt. If you want your terminal prompt to look something like this, you can edit your .zshrc file if you're using the zsh shell. If you're using bash, the process is a bit different, so, Open your .zshrc file in your text editor. Before doing that, I recommend making a backup of the original file. To do that, just type the following command, and it will clone your .zshrc file. Now open your .zshrc file using nano. Scroll down, and you'll see a function named configure prompt. From here, you can customize your prompt. I've shared the code for my custom prompt in the description, you can copy it and paste it directly into the prompt variable. Or if you want, you can create your own. 
All you have to do is remove all the text after the equal sign in the prompt variable for the two-line prompt and paste your custom prompt code there. This is a huge topic, so let me know if you'd like a dedicated video on customizing Linux shell prompts. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you on this topic. If you found the video useful, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support motivates me to create more content. Also, share it with your friends and family. And let me know some cool topics for the next videos. Thanks for watching.